G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I am going to be showing you one of the best pals that you can get in the game and how to get him. There are two ways that you can do this. I'm going to timestamp them both below. So the two ways I'm going to show you, one, uh, you can do mid-game and it's not that hard. This They made a statue of this guy, it's Anubis, and he is a very, very handy. I'm going to show you, I've just um, got Anubis in here, so let's have a look at him. This is the boss that I captured recently, so... This is Anubis here, and he has some really good ground attacks. He is, uh, he comes with, if you get the boss, he's Earth Emperor, so it's 20% increase to the ground damage as well. The, the benefit of having Anubis, though, in your PAL squad, uh, not just as a, a, a an attacking player or a defending, um, you want him for his abilities, and that is, uh, he's got level 4 handiwork and level 3 mining and a level two transportation so he makes a really good miner this guy is the miner you, you don't want anyone else uh he he's super good at mining and uh he'll also transport the goods back to your storage box and he'll also help you with any handiwork around the place so that's why this guy is so popular all right so we're going to show you the two ways how to get that now the first way I'm going to show you is breeding. Now, if you don't know how to breed, uh, please look at uh, hit up the video. I'm going to uh, link below as well on how to set up a breeding. But essentially, what you need to do is you need some cake, and we've got some cake here. And you're going to when you throw some certain uh, pals in here, they'll breed to make a certain character uh, or pal, I should say. So in this case, we are trying to breed the Anubis because we want lots of him in order to mine. And you can see, like, look at this over here. I've left that for, like, just so you guys can see. He, they, he's going to town in this base that I've got, and uh, super handy. So you're thinking, all right, how are we going to get Anubis? Well, there is a really good website that you can do this in, and I'm going to show you, and I'll link that in the description below. This website is super handy for breeding, and I'm going to bring that up now. So essentially, what you're looking at here is a a website that's for breeding it's a breeding calculator essentially for power Word. so what you want to do is you want to just type in anubis's name here you can see i've already started to type it in and when you select it uh you're gonna get this there's two ways to use this website i'll just quickly show you there is switch to breeding calculator so what you if you put two together what you're going to get and then there's a combinations you know what you can put together to get anubis all right so the first way is going to be if you want Anubis, type in Anubis here and click on him and then scroll down this list and go, all right, what do I have here that I can capture to make Anubis? You know, so rush, you know, rush wars are pretty easy to find, but these two probably aren't. So the, the uh, Alcanthir, probably pronouncing this wrong, isn't too hard to find either, but maybe these are a bit hard to find. Although the this one, the, the Pyron Knot, you could probably find, uh, but beacon you could use beacon because it is actually pretty easy to find and easy to tame so scrolling down there's is a number of different things that you could use uh dictorus and relaxosaurus probably put those two together uh dictorus and the uh Mam mamorost <laughs> these names are they crazy names uh so that, look there are infinite combinations you can see to make anubis and essentially uh, all you need to do is put two of those into a breeding pen and you are going to get him so let's have a look at that now and what i've done is i've thrown i've put these two in you can see i've got two breeding pairs in here uh yeah univolt and we've got the, the king himself so um yeah and what you need to do is just throw them in there and they're going to pop out these eggs and then you're going to want to incubate them in your incubator so we'll go to the incubators i've got some eggs that are ready to hatch and we'll show you what sort of results we get and don't forget to stay around i'm going to show you how you can easily capture anubis the like the boss himself there is a, a quite an easy method to doing this and it works uh, mid-game no problem at all so you're going to need uh, basically a couple of pals and i'll show you what they are in a minute but let's have a look and open up these eggs see what they are so we'll just open up this first one and these are the eggs that we've been breeding as you can see there you go we've got an anubis level one and essentially that's what they're going to do that, that combination i put in there is going to give me anubis's over and over and over so this is good for stacking too if you want to use the uh, condenser as well so if you want to just keep pumping out eggs 
you can do that you simply basically supply them with cake and you can just keep pumping out anubises and, and you can play around with once you've got a couple of really good anubises uh, that's for an, another video of course uh you could basically pop them straight into the the breeding pen and we could breed up a really strong anubis so um, in this case, as you can see, King Packer and Univolt are the two that I've used to breed Anubis this time. And yeah, it works perfectly. So we're going to head over to the other way that we're going to do Anubis. And this way we're going to get the boss Anubis. So I'm going to show you how you can easily do this. Now the first thing you need to do is you're going to need these guys. Uh, these are going to be your best uh, attack and defense against Anubis. He, um, being a ground, uh, these guys, you can see, we'll just open up one of them. These guys are grass. Now grass, if you don't know, is great against, we'll have a look at the guide. And we'll go into the, where are we? Uh, I can see it, there it is, the elements. Ground, grass beats ground. So you want a couple of really strong grass creatures. And to be honest, there's, these guys are going to be the ones you want. Now I've popped this guy in here because I want to level him up. So if we beat Anubis and Anubis is I think uh, level 43, um, you will level him, this guy up to 43 instantly. So that, that's the only reason he's in there. I only need three. Uh, you can see I threw out a transportation to get across there. All right, so we're going to head across there now and I'm going to show you how to do Anubis the boss and complete that one super easy. All right, guys, we are at the location for the boss Anubis. I'll show you where that is on the map basically at you know, if you don't know where it is minus 132 minus 96 now there is no fast travel point nearby so you're going to have to kind of walk in or fly in from one of the ones nearby um, they're all kind of about the same to be honest I kind of use this one wind tyrant but you know either of these there it's kind of central to them so when you get here bear in mind this is a hot climate area so having uh, heat resistance of some description on you is going to help absolutely and of course you are going to need to bring uh three tames now you're going to need three of these mama rests <laughs> i think that's how you pronounce it um with you and I, i've flown in on my bird which i won't be using but you're going to need these guys because of their unique talents and that is they are a grass um you know Hell. And, and grass is very strong against ground attack so although uh, this guy has a I don't really want to swap that out he has quite a high ground attack just there uh, this one but uh, essentially their attack is going to be the best thing that you can use against Anubis now you can see he's standing in front of his giant statue if he doesn't spawn in straight away just wait around a little bit he should spawn in and there's a, a chest just be between his legs as well something you can grab as well so all right we're going to stand uh, land now the only thing you're going to have to be aware of is um, other pals in the area as soon as you start battling him usually these guys these taco tacos um start to attack you and they're pretty lethal they you know they got that ticking time bomb thing now if there's anything really close i try to just capture it if i can and let's see if we can get that in one go no i should just use die All right, so we get rid of him so he's not in my way and then we can land and what we want to do is I won't use that gun um in fact I'll try not to use a gun at all just to give you an idea as a, a quite a high level but like this can be done at just about any level so what we want to do is we want to swap it out, this guy out to one of the mammoths I'll just call him mammoths and you just take one shot basically at Anubis and get to get the game started I actually missed him completely all right interesting all right there we go and all you want to do now is just stay away from him let, let the uh, mammoths do the job and when you see them getting uh like their health getting low just swap out for the next one in your party having this little glider helps so use the terrain to your advantage so it will take a while, so if you want to skip to the end, by all means, go for it. Be aware of those attacks. They can be pretty dangerous and lethal if you get caught in one. You want to try and just get him to focus on the mammoth and not you. That would be helpful. 
Now there are other, obviously, the higher you get up, there are other better pals that will demolish uh, Anubis. This is really a early to mid game way to get Anubis early. So if you're in a more advanced player, then of course you're going to use a more powerful pal to take him out. So yeah, maybe right now I'm too cold. And they're pretty tanky these men, so they got a pretty good Yeah, as I was saying before, if you do want to skip all this, I will leave a timestamp in the end to show you us capturing him at the end. But if you want to watch how I avoid him the whole way through, by all means, stick around. Because it can be a bit slow with these guys, but it, as I said, it is a early to sort of early mid game way to get Anubis a boss. Now, as long as you've got food, if you have food in your inventory, uh, like a food accessory, then that's going to help as well because your um, as when they return back to your party, will start to heal themselves. When you see that red, if you can bring him out, that will save some damage. So that red ring that Anubis throws out is quite powerful. So uh, throw out the other mammoth when that happens. Now to capture Anubis, you're gonna have to wait generally until his health is really low. I could capture him a lot higher if I wanted to, just because I'm a lot higher in player. So I am gonna show you with the green ball, which is the Mega Sphere. Because at the moment, if you have a look, it's just a one zero one percent chance. Oops, I just threw one away, but that's the matter. Fortunately, these Taco Tacos are far enough away, which is good. Don't have to really worry about them at the moment. So you can see we've gotten it below 3,000 now. So it's a thousand of his health, one fourth. Just sort of stay this distance. So, so he is focused on. Is that? Signal against, he only got seven damage. Mm. Put him back out because he's quite healthy still. That's a pretty powerful attack from him as well, so it's up to you if you want to pull back, pull your mammoth back in when that happens. There's that red again. Yeah. You can see I got no damage on him that time. You definitely want to don't want to get hit by those fireballs. They're pretty deadly. All right, we're under halfway now. Nothing sneaking up on us. Actually helps if this is done at night because you can see most of the pals in the area are sleeping anyway, so they don't get involved. And I missed that ring. You can see that quite damaged him quite. Uh, so we can switch out if we want to. I 
make sure you come here with armor. As you can see, if I hadn't had the armor on then I probably would have been a kill. I wasn't paying attention. There we go, there's yeah. that ring again. I want him to focus on the mammoth, but some, he's just not doing it. But you want to keep him close to the mammoth as well, so that the mammoth can do those attacks on him. I guess not too close. Ring again. What? Got a little ways to go. We want to get it down as low as we can. We've got a couple of these nearby, which you want to probably take out if they get too close. So. Yeah. We don't really want him wandering off, so we might. Um, Oops. Bring him back over here. Here he comes. What? What? That was very close, I wasn't paying attention then. Now if you are lower level, that probably would have killed you, so be very, very switched on and be aware of what's happening. Let me just switch my armor out again, which is a pain. Getting close. Still really low on the green ball. Yeah. I was silly. Didn't want to really throw that, but I've got heaps of green balls on the end of the world. You can give it a shot if you want to. There is like a two percent chance, but realistically, you probably need to get him down a little bit lower. Now, if you, you don't want to kill him, you want to bring your mammoth back in when it gets too low. And if you just want to, if you want to kill him, just leave the mammoth out. And but if you 
want to capture him? Hmm. You want to bring your mammoth in back like that. Now I might need to get a slightly higher ball. Yeah, yeah. And I might need hmm. mammoth to hit him one more time. Kill him. Okay, so that's about as low as I'm going to be able to get him. And you can see, I, I still only got, a, 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 when it hits, a 2% chance. So my advice would be to, I'll use a bigger ball, it would just be to take the win as a lower player, unless you have access to those bigger balls and you can obviously capture him. So you're going to need that um, Ultra Sphere probably to take him out which I could have probably taken him a bit earlier but there you go that's essentially how you want to uh, kill him anyway I just wanted to capture him so I make sure you open that chest and that's pretty much it so if you guys if this was helpful in any way if you've got any questions uh, please just um, let me know in the comments below uh, hit that like button and consider consider subscribing and I will see you on the next video thanks again one out <laughs>